I'm Lisa Linfield. I'm a board certified financial planner and CEO of Southern Pride Wealth. And I'm also the host of the Working Women's Wealth podcast, available on your favorite podcast or music app. Today is the final in our series on debt. We hope it's helped you to rethink, reshape, and eliminate your debt. So far, we've discussed the total cost of debt, five ways to lower your debt, the most popular approaches to paying off your debt, debt counseling, and credit scores. And yesterday we began to answer the most important question of all. How do we stay out of debt for good? The first place to start is that we need to change the way we think about debt forever. Why? Because in life our actions reflect our thinking. And if we want our actions to change, we need to change our thinking. At the root of most debt is that we all want more. And we want it now. But in the end, the wants we have now steal our future joy. Money's job is to help us stay safe and fulfill our dreams. Debt threatens that safety and security. It slowly creeps in, manageable at first, and then before you know it, it pulls you down a deep, dark hole. And you're left thinking, how did I get here? So the first step to staying out of debt is to hold two pictures in your mind. As humans, our two strongest drivers are away from pain and toward pleasure. So those two pictures need to be, firstly, pain. Make a mental picture of yourself at your worst as a result of debt. It can be the shame of telling your husband or wife. The pain of telling your child you can't afford their school. The desperate desire to run away and hide. Take a memory photograph of that moment. What you were wearing, what that day felt like, smelt like. The look on that person's face. And try and, in one picture, freeze the emotion. In the split second you next want to spend money you don't have, remember that picture with all those feelings. The second picture is one of pleasure. Visualize in your mind what you will have when you are financially free. Where will you be? Who's with you? What are you doing? See the place, see the people, feel the love, laughter, kindness, and the feeling of no worries in the world. Make that image so filled with emotion and so visual. When you bring that picture to mind, the struggle of today feels so worth it. Every day, when you do your teeth, spend just 30 seconds feeling the pain picture and 30 seconds feeling the pleasure picture. Over time, those two images will change your behavior forever. The next thing you need to do is remove the temptation. I'm a big fan of staying as far away from temptation as possible, especially in the evenings or if we're feeling down, those times when our willpower is lower than normal. So let's look at a few ways to help us remove temptation. Firstly, get rid of the card. The best is obviously to cut it up. But if you can't cut it up, the second best is to give it to an accountability partner, a friend committed to helping you out. That way, you need to face them in order to use it. And if it's a real emergency, they will totally support you in using that card. Secondly, close the accounts. The minute you have paid off your debt, close your account. Not only does it remove the temptation of using it again, It stops the monthly fees you're being charged for having it open. Thirdly, avoid the shops. If you know certain shops tempt you, stay away from them. Don't even window shop because the next thing you know, they will suck you in. If your food shop is near the clothes shop that tempts you, change food shops. Fourthly, Make a pact with yourself and your accountability partner to leave a week between seeing something you want and buying it. That way, you have time to know if you really need it. Number five, and lastly, stay away from people that tempt you to spend. We all know the golden rules of those wanting to walk away from temptation. Change your friends. 
If there are people who lead you to spend, be it friends, family or acquaintances, spend less and less time with them. And if you need to spend time with them, leave your wallet behind. Don't make it harder than it is to stay out of debt. Get an accountability partner. Now, all of us need someone to hold us accountable for the change we find hard to make. If it was easy to make, we would have done it by now, by ourselves. If we want to get fit, we get a training partner. If we want to lose weight, we get a diet partner. And if you want to be debt-free, find an accountability partner and meet with them weekly to track your debt. Accountability partners make you think twice to cheat on your pathway. You know you're going to meet with them. So it's not just you you're trying to convince of the need to spend money. You have to talk them through it. They also should be your biggest cheerleaders celebrating your wins. Get someone who is deeply committed to your success and someone who will be tough when you need it, can see through your stories you convince yourself of and who is able to cheer you on with every tiny win. And lastly, get your family on board. You need everybody on board. Be honest about the problem and be clear about the solution and get them to commit to journeying with you. Celebrate your wins with them. You cannot fight on all fronts. It's exhausting. So make sure that they help you find the solutions to those problems and not add to the debt. And don't shy away from including the children. The most powerful money lessons are learned when we are young and they need to be aware of the issues of debt but also the joy of financial freedom. They need to learn that a cheaper option means more money to save, and they need to partner with you to find a way out. A family vision is so important. It will keep you saving and help guide the choices you make on where to spend your money and how to save it. Getting out of the chains of debt and staying out of debt for life may mean that the next few months or years are hard as you need to suffer now to pay for your previous life. But as you start being able to build your safety net and build your financial freedom, the relief you will feel will help motivate you to never go there again. I'm Lisa Linfield, and for more information on managing your money, please listen to my podcast, Working Women's Wealth. Take care and have a great week.